is the issue of revenue allocation to our counties. Mr. Speaker, I know very well that devolution is still very young, but our counties need money. We spent 13 sittings here, all fighting so that we can be able to send money to our counties. And I think of the biggest achievement that we've had in this parliament. That will go down as one that we will always be remembered. And Mr. Speaker, I thank you for being very patient with us. It was a very emotional uh, period because everyone, of course, had their own views, others wanting money to be divided based on the size of the population, others wanting money to be divided because of the size of the land that their people occupied. Mr. Speaker, the other very important thing that I will always remember is that when I stood next to you, one of the things that, in, and I remember in my maiden speech, I committed to ensure that we liberate the Mao Forest. And I'm happy that during my time as a senator, I fought so hard to ensure that we preserve our environment and to make sure that at least we continue respecting dignity of the people who live there. Mr. Speaker, I know that was very emotional. And I can see some of my colleagues nodding. And maybe I've given them beef so that they can be able to hit me back. But it's something that I'm very proud of. I'm proud that at least during my term as a senator, and if God is kind enough to be able to allow the people of Narok to vote me back, it is something that I shall continue to ensure that we continue pre preserving our forests. Because today, Mr. Speaker, the people of Transmara District, either Transmara West or Transmara East, enjoy beautiful rainfalls, and that is all courtesy of the work that we did, or the work that I did, to ensure that we protect the Mao Forest. Mr. Speaker.